Hi, this is Coach Tuff at Think Swish with Tiger. Great to be back with you. Hope you guys are doing great. You're working on your basketball fundamentals. Right now, we are going to work on ball handling, one of my favorite things to do. And I know Tiger loves to work on his ball handling. And we're going to show you some things that can be helpful for you to work on every single day. Ball handling doesn't need to be very long, but it's going hard with a purpose and getting the job done. And so one thing that I like to do is just getting warmed up is just squeeze the ball, just squeeze it. Just squeeze it, get underneath the basketball, squeeze it, you might go high and low, up and down, just being comfortable, get it up a little bit higher and squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it where you're being comfortable, just comfortable with the ball, getting your uh, fingers, your hands warmed up, right? And then you go from that and you go toss, back and forth, toss, go hard, go hard. Now you start picking up your speed here and now you bring it down. And one great workout with ball handling is down here below your waist. Go a little bit lower here, Tiger, and go as fast as you can down here and it just builds that strength in your forearms, right, as you do that. Just that simple drill right there will help with that. Next one is slap the ball. Slap it hard, slap it. Again, this is getting your hands going and getting warmed up for the drills here that I'm going to show you to do, right? And this is a warm up, and this leads you to do uh, the other ball handling drills okay, really, really hard. Now he's going to bend his knees, and we're going to pound the ball with your right hand. Pound, see how his balance, he's staying, I'll get the ball down below your, your knee, his eyes up, and he's going hard. Now he's going to pound it with, uh, uh, with his uh, left hand, go left. Pound it down below his waist. Actually, it's below his knee. And pound, pound, pound. Now go to your right hand, about your waist, just below your waist and your pound. Pound the ball. And you want to do this drill for about 10 seconds at a time. And you've got to go hard, game-like. Left, below the waist. Keep it hard, pound, eyes up, hand atop, on top of the ball, right? And now finish, let's go dribble high. Pound the ball though. Bend your knees still and dribble hard, pound it. Good hard workout, right? For about 10 seconds at a time, but you're going hard. Left hand, pound it high. Work hard on keeping that ball, your hand on top of the ball. Now you're gonna cross over. Good job, Tiger. Cross over, eyes are up, quick as you can. Try to pound that ball as much as you can. Again, the ball's down below your knees, keeping it low, warming up there. Now bring it up to your knees. Bend your knees, eyes up, pound it, pound it. Now leaving just a little bit higher. Pound it, pound it, pound it, pound it, hand on top of the ball. Again, the key to all of these is that you're going at your speed, but you've got to get better and better and better. It's going to increase the more you do this, the better you get at it and the harder you can go at it. You might need a rest in between a little bit. You may need to go get a drink, but at your pace, you want to go as hard as you can to keep this drill going and going. And we're going to show you things that you'll be able to cross off each time that you do it, but you're consistent in doing these drills all the time. So the next drill we're going to do is we're going to dribble just around the right leg with your right hand little eye hand coordination but you're pounding the ball still you're going as hard as you can again it doesn't have to be very long um, it could be about 10 seconds at a time now go to your left right it's okay if you mess up a little bit we're gonna make mistakes in the game of basketball we make mistakes but you want to go as hard as you can for 10 seconds pound it you got to go harder then you're gonna have time to be able to rest now you're gonna go right into that into your figure eight keeping the ball low keeping your head up putting it together, mixing that up. Try to get your eyes up, pound the ball, pound it, pound it, pound it. Again, it's 10 seconds at a time. Okay, now our next drill that we're gonna do is our spider drill. And that's dribbling the ball twice in front of your legs and then back behind you. Two times in front, two times in back. So as you dribble twice in front of you, you're pushing the ball to the back and you're hitting it twice. Now, keeping your head up, good body balance, going as hard as you can. Be quick, but be under control. You don't want to do it so fast that you're losing the ball every time. 
but as you keep working on it, your advance is you're gonna keep getting better. Get about 10 seconds. Okay, our next drill is going to be the behind the back dribble. And that's just, again, your good body balance. Your head is up, you're pounding the ball. Again, during this, as I'm talking, he's going a little bit longer, but I can't emphasize enough the importance of just going for 10 seconds as hard as you can, and then going on to the next drill, and going on into the next drill. And if you have to rest in between a little bit, that's okay, but you've got to go hard game-like situation. Okay, our next drill is we're going to go between your legs. Face this way, face this way. Okay, ready? Go. Again, you've got to be able to go as hard as you can, as fast as you can, under control, getting your head up. You want to pound it to where it hurts. Okay, stop. Our next drill we're going to do is around the world. And so you're just going to wrap the ball around your head as fast as you can go. Again, a 10 second. And then around your waist. And you just got to get a good feel for about what 10 seconds is. If that means you're doing it 10 times, then you do it 10 times. But now go around your leg. Right? Got to go hard. Got to go harder. Faster, as quick as you can. Under control. Go the other way. Try to keep your head up. Good. Around your waist. Quick, 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 quick. And around your head. Quick, 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 quick. Try to get that wrapped all the way around your head. Okay. Our next drill, we're going to go um, the drop and catch. And so we spread our legs out, um, one hand in front of the other, and then it, we just rotate our hands where we drop and catch the ball and go it's quick. Got to go quick, quick, quick speed. And again, you go 10 seconds, and then we'll go to drop and catch without letting the ball hit the ground. Got to be quick and fast, okay? As we can see, Tiger's got a little bit more work to do on this drill. And one thing that can help with this drill is that you push the ball up a little bit so that you can get your hands around and be able to catch it. Now, remember, when you finish doing your ball handling, between every drill that you do, you want to be able to finish at the foul line, you get to the foul line, Again, it's automatic that you go there and you make 10 free throws before you advance to the next drill. That's key. The reason why is that you want to be able to do game-like free throws. Game situation, you're tired, you, best place to go is be able to go to the foul line. Again, you gotta get your own rebound, get back to the spot. Again, you're not wasting any time, you just follow through. If anything, you're leaning forward, you're going to get the ball on your own, you're in a gym by yourself, you're in out on the basketball court by yourself, you just got doing your ball handling drill, and you're tired, you've worked hard, and now again, you've gone game speed, and you gotta finish up now shooting free throws. And that is key in how you're gonna become a better player. I'm signing off, can't wait to see you again.